Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned more about common factors. In this video, we will see some interesting concepts related to this. Golu, Bhola and Bunny together have decided to donate some items to the needy children of Champapur. Golu will bring pencils, Bhola will bring pens and Bunny will bring notebooks. Then, all three of them will divide those things equally among the number of children so that every child gets every item. Golu has brought 19 pencils, Bhola has brought 48 pens and Bunny has brought 54 notebooks. Now all three friends are thinking as to what is the maximum number of children that they will be able to give these things to. To find a solution to this question, Bunny first wrote the factors of the three numbers in this way. Now, Bunny is trying to find the common factors of these numbers. Bunny is thinking, There is only one common factor of these numbers. One. How can it be possible that one is a factor of each of these numbers? Children, is what Bunny saying correct? Is one a factor of every number? We can divide any number by one. So one is the factor of each number. Bunny's point is absolutely correct. Now, all three friends are thinking that they cannot give all those things to only one child. And 19 has only two factors, 1 and 19 itself. So, those numbers and shared factors are not possible. But why does 19 have only two factors? Bhola asked Bunny. There are many numbers like 19, which we can only divide by one and that number itself. We call such numbers prime numbers. And because these numbers can only be divided by one and that number itself, they have only two factors. Bunny explained to Bhola. Golu told Bunny and Bhola, I have a solution for this. Why don't I add more pencils to these so that we can get even more common factors in these three numbers? Bhola and Bunny liked Golu's suggestion very much. Bhola immediately found the common factors of 48 and 54. Look guys, these numbers are the common factors of 48 and 54. And 6 of these are the highest common factor of these numbers. So, we have to increase the number of Golu's 19 pencils in such a way that even that increased number has 6 as a factor. If I add one more pencil to these 19 pencils, then the total is 20 pencils. But 20, 48, 54 do not have 6 as a common factor. If I add one more pencil, the total is 21 pencils. But now also, we are not able to get 6 as a common factor. Will we get 6 as a common factor in 22 and 23? Golu asked Bunny and Bhola. No, said Bunny. Oh wow! If I add 5 pencils to 19, 
there will be a total of 24 pencils. Here the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 6 are the common factors of 24, 48 and 54 and 6 is their highest common factor. Therefore, we can distribute these things equally among 6 children. Children, can you tell how many pencils, pens and notebooks each child will get? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. 6 times 4 is 24. So every child gets 4 pencils. 6 times 8 is 48. So each child gets 8 pens. And 6 times 9 is 54. So every child will get 9 notebooks. In this way, Golu, Bunny and Bhola formed 6 groups of all those items. And excitedly, they went out to deliver them to the needy children of the village. Children, in this video, we have seen some fun concepts related to common factors.